this tutorial we're going to talk through the white muted preset now this is for people that love the light and airy style but don't like it when it's too contrasty or um, they just prefer the more muted down colours so let's get started so this is an image which I think would suit this preset perfectly and I'm right it's a little bit overexposed. I'm just going to straighten it too because it's bugging me that it's not straight. Let's just straighten it very quickly. Um, so because everyone's quite light and this preset's quite a light one, I'm going to bring down the exposure ever so slightly. Um, just so you can see the definition of the background and around the, her hair. But actually, I think this one is a perfect image to demonstrate how white muted works. Um, I actually just want to get rid of the light, but that's not a preset thing, that's just bugging me about the image and just get rid of that. But ultimately I actually think their skin tones look really lovely with this colour tone, tone on. Um, but ultimately I actually don't think that needs to be changed too much because it is a very white and neutral image anyway. So let's go to something a bit more brighter. Let's go to this image. <coughs> um, so obviously their dresses are very orange, so let's see how this one comes up. So again, this is a very good example because it's completely different to what we just had. So I put the preset on. On this particular image, I'm going to add just add to the whites a little bit um, and maybe just bring down, the cool it down a little bit, bring down the temperature. Um, this image needs some work because unfortunately the flowers were really wet and as you can see there's loads of marks on their dresses so I mean we need to clone them out but this is just a rough a rough go at it you can go back in and do a better clone job and um, that's what I would do anyways but in fact that is terrible just that's really annoying let's just get rid of them so um yeah, I'd go and sort out the dress, but ultimately the white tone, white muted tones are quite nice. Even with a bit of colour, it kind of still gives that muted but light and airy style to the image. So I'm going to move on. I really like this setting for indoor shots. So here we go. Here's a bridal prep. And um, again, this is a little bit, it was a bright day, so I'm going to bring down the exposure a little bit and I'm going to crop out this beam because I don't like it. And let's just bring the whole image in a little bit here and because we want it to be about them. So I think I shot it on a wide lens because we were doing film as well. Um, so we both had to fit in the room. So usually I'd kind of step in with a 50, but I think I shot this on a bit of a wider lens. Um, this is a perfect example of white how white muted works. Um, it's a very nice light and airy room anyway. Um, it's very white and um, perfect tones for this preset. There's not really much I do other than crop the image, bring down the exposure. Um, again, I might just play around with the highlights. I might bring down the highlights a little bit, um, but I'm really happy with that. The colors look great. So I'm um, gonna go on to a room now. Um, a very yellowy tone room. In fact, the room's walls are ever so slightly green and it's quite shadowy. For a bright room, it looks almost better to the eye than it does in camera. So um, it needs a, definitely needs a preset. So let's whack that on and automatically the yellow has come right out of that image. Um, oh, it's come back up. There you go. It's gone, come right out of that image. I probably would still just cool it down a little bit because the room is quite yellowy. I might even bring the whites up on this one um, and I want to get rid of those shadows just a tiny little bit so I'm going to just bring out the shadows and because I've done that I just want to counteract it with a little bit of the highlights. Um, I don't really love the ceiling so I'm just going to bring that in and then we just get rid of a little bit of the wall. But the greens look great in here, they're nice and muted. Um, and again, we've just got rid of, if you want to look at the before and after. So as you can see before, it was very yellowy, um, it was very shadowy, and afterwards it's this nice white muted room, which is perfect. 
And so we're gonna move on. I'm gonna go to an outdoor shot here. Let's just get it back into the one frame. Um, this is a rainy image, um, and this is another example where I think it works quite well. So let's just pop that preset on. Here we go. So, is it on? Hang on. There we go. And I'm just going to bring down the exposure in here because I think it is a little bit overexposed, the image. Um, and just have a little play. It was a very heavily wet shoot, this one. Um, in fact, so bad that my camera got broken and destroyed um, through, <laughs> through shooting it in about, only in about an hour. It was absolutely hand wrote down. But going back to the editing, I feel like I want to just increase the contrast here. Um, and because I want to get a bit more of this in, I'm going to just bring right down the highlights just so I can see a little bit. I mean, it was a very, the vis yeah, the visibility on that day wasn't great. Um, but it is giving you an example of how the muted, the muted tones work, especially on this green. I love how the green comes out in this preset. Um, I'm going to do one more. Let me have a look. Which one should we go for? Um, again, I mean, any image where there's a lot of white, it works really well, this one. So I just think you don't really need to do much to it. Um, flat lays, it works really well for if you've got flat lays again. A nice white image. I'm going to finish on this one, which has got a bit of colour. Um, I probably personally would use one of my other presets for this image because I like the pop of red. But for those of you that like this sort of tone, I do love how it makes the cream on the building look really washed out. Um, and again, how they... I'm just going to increase the contrast. I want them to pop out a little bit. Um, I do like the colour tones on it. Um, and how they look, they look great in this image and the whole framing. Um, let's just look at before and after. So before it's very yellowy tones and afterwards it's really toned it right back down to a bit more neutral and a bit more white and the greens are a bit more muted. So um, this is the white muted preset. I would say ultimately it's great for shots which have a lot of white in and a little bit um, less green it's good for indoor shots and it is really good for anywhere where it's nice white and bright